Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I'm Angela from At The Kitchen Cookery School in South Manchester. And normally at this time of year, we'd be getting ready to do our cooking demonstrations in the Feast Theatre at the Tatton Show. But unfortunately, we're not there this year. And so here we are at our pop-up kitchen in my garden. Um, and we're going to do some cooking for you today. Really enjoyed my time in the garden this year. I've started growing a lot more vegetables and herbs and I've had particular success with my courgettes. So with that in mind, I'm going to make a rice and vegetable pie. Okay, I'm going to start by making the pastry. It's really simple. It's an olive oil pastry. No rubbing in, no complicated ingredients. It's very, very simple. So I've got some plain flour, just ordinary, uh, all everyday, all-purpose plain flour. And to that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt good pinch of salt and then I'm going to add the olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to add 75 mils or five tablespoons and I'm just going to make a little well in the middle and then I'm going to start adding the olive oil. I've added the olive oil and then I've got some warm water, about 100 mils of warm water and I'm going to start adding that. So mix in the, in the olive oil and then slowly start adding the water. Now don't add it all at once, just keep adding a little bit at a time and you'll see it start to come together. And what you want is a nice soft dough. So keep adding and the, the reason why the water's warm is because it really, it mixes quite well with the olive oil. So it sort of keeps it nice and soft. Otherwise, if it was cold, it'd be tough. Just keep mixing until it's all coated in the water and then at this point it's probably best to get your hands in and start kneading it all together start to get your hands in and form the dough and then once you've got it all together into a dough Get a little bit of flour and just dust the surface and then tip your dough out onto the surface and then give it a knead and it probably just needs kneading about four to five minutes. Okay so I've been kneading this for four or five minutes now and as you can see it's nice and soft and springy and then I'm just going to form it into a ball and I'm going to wrap that into cling film and leave it on the side while we prepare the filling. Okay, for the filling, I'm going to start with the courgettes. Um, I've got 400 grams. I'm going to top and tail them. And then I'm going to slice them quite thinly. Okay, so if you take a large bowl and then you put all your chopped courgette slices into the bowl. And then to this, I'm going to add some cooked spinach. Um, you could add also some chard or some kale, but all I've done is I've wilted down the, the spinach and then really, really till it's nice and soft, let it go cold and then squeeze out all the excess moisture. Chop it up quite finely and then I'm going to add that to the courgettes. And then give it a mix. And then I'm going to add one small, finely chopped onion and about 150 grams of Arborio risotto rice. And then just give that all a mix, mix it all together. And then we're going to add two large eggs, just lightly beaten. And pull that in. 50 grams of Parmesan cheese, finely, finely grated. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and some ground black pepper. And then for the final flavouring, I'm just going to add a little bit of fresh oregano. I'm just going to finely chop that. So just pick it off. Okay.
Okay, so we're ready to roll out the dough. So take it out the cling film. And then we're going to cut it into two pieces. I'm going to cut the bottom of the pie slightly bigger, bigger piece than the top. You can see, just slightly bigger. And then I'm going to set that piece aside while we roll this one out. It's going to fill a 20 by 30 shallow roasting tin. And we want to roll it out as thinly as possible. So a little bit of flour. And then we can start to roll. Okay, just keep going with it and get it as thin as you can. Don't worry if it tears, it will come back together really easily. It's quite a sturdy pastry. And just when you think, oh my gosh, this isn't coming together, it will. Don't keep going with it, persevere. And that's about right. And as you can see, it's really nice and thin. Okay, so use your rolling pin to roll the pastry into the tin nice and gently. And just maneuver it into the corners. Doesn't matter if it tears, just gently press them together. They'll come together quite easily. So then we're going to add the filling to the pastry and we'll spread it out over the base. And what's going to happen is the moisture that's going to come out of the courgettes and the spinach is going to be absorbed by the rice and it just cooks the rice perfectly, gives in this really creamy, delicious texture to the pie. Okay, I've rolled out the other piece of pastry and I'm just going to roll this over the top of the pie. Okay, I'm going to trim around the edge. I'm just going to crimp the edges together like a little roll. And then a final brush of beaten egg all over. And this will just give it a lovely glaze. And then a little bit of flaky sea salt on top and that's it ready for the oven and that goes into a fan assisted oven at 160 um, conventional 180 for 40 minutes okay so the pie is out of the oven and I've just let it sit for about five minutes just to let it cool down for a bit and I'm going to cut into it so you can see the pastry is nice and crisp As you can see, the rice is cooked beautifully. Um, it's looking great, absolutely perfect. Really delicious and the perfect picnic pie. This will transport anywhere. So there you go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Tatton Virtual Show and we look forward to seeing you next year. Bye.